we don't want to forget about Rand's smooth-talking co-conspirator, Uncle Milty, aka Tingly Ingly, and we need to catch up with him because Remember, Milton Ingley was Rand's boss at that adult video studio, and he was the one who set up that first website selling bootlegs of the tape in the first place, and so whatever happened to Milton? Did he ever get into trouble for his role in this whole scheme? After all, E! Entertainment Online had linked to his website where he was selling the tape, and it wasn't that hard for people to find out afterward that the site was registered to Milton Ingley. Well, Milton never did any jail time either, but he did face something even scarier, the wrath of the mafia. Remember, Milton had borrowed money from that guy named Butchie, whose dad was a mob boss, and so you would think, given those circumstances, that Milton would have been really careful about how he spent Butchie's money. But look, y'all, Milton liked to live large and have a good time, and so even though he did spend some of Butchie's loan on getting that website up and running and on copying and shipping the tapes, he also spent a lot of that money partying it up in New York with $500 bottles of champagne, hookers every night, a room at the plaza, and lots of cocaine, according to Rolling Stone. So, after Milton blew a bunch of Butchie Pereno's investment, and after he got sued by Pam and Tommy for selling their private tape, Milton hopped on a plane and bounced out of the United States, and he flew to Amsterdam where he lay low for seven years while still operating that bootleg site from across seas. Now when he did that, that left his so-called pet idiot Rand in a tight spot because Rand's buddy Milton had skipped town and screwed over Butchie who had all these mafia connections and so Butchie made Rand pay for that. Rand says he had to work for Butchie after that as a bill collector for the mob, according to Rolling Stone, and so Rand had to go visit people who owed the mob money to make sure that those people paid up, and he said that breaking collarbones was part of his job description. I know, this is the most insane story ever, right? Anyway, several years after Milton moved to Amsterdam, he finally returned back to the United States where, in 2006, at the age of 54, this sleazy, slick-tongued hustler breathed his last breath with his tombstone appropriately donned with, that's the deal. You've been watching an excerpt from my video on the savage scammer behind the release of Pam and Tommy's honeymoon tape, and there is so much more to this story, so if you want to see the full video, you can find that link down in the description, or you can search YouTube for Pam and Tommy by Mary Betsy.